guys, it's Sai. I just got to Monterey and we're near the Quail about to test drive the Lexus LC500. I've been seeing this car on a lot of car spotting groups and I'm here to find out what the hype is all this about. This guy's behind us is the LC500 we're going to be taking out. It looks awesome. So it was based on a concept and it took five years to make that concept a reality. And it's just so futuristic looking and so cool. Like you can see the lines across this car. It's amazing. So in the front you can see the classic, the Lexus grill, which makes it fit into the Lexus family still even though it's a brand new sports car that Lexus has come out with. Another really cool thing is the carbon fiber roof. Look at this guys, it's exposed carbon fiber on the top, on the roof. That's amazing. This is a side view of the car. And this is the back. It has really, really wide hips. And take a close look, if you can, at the headlights. I don't know if the camera's gonna get it, but Check out how neat that is. Really beautiful car. On the interior, a couple of things I want to show you guys. It's Alcantara lined on the door here and even on top of the dash here. There are two seats in the back also. So it is a coupe, but there's two seats in the back. I'm taking a look at the center console. I turned off the lights so it stopped beeping. Super futuristic looking. You guys will see it when we're on the drive. The screen will light up here, and this is the touchpad you use to control the screen. Let's take a look at the engine of the LC500. This is a 5 liter naturally aspirated V8, 471 horsepower and 398 pound weight. 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds and it's a 10 speed direct shift transmission which is what makes the car super smooth. My initial impression is it doesn't look like it has a lot of trunk space but let's check it out. The button to open the trunk is right here. So push. Yeah it's interesting. So it's not a ton of trunk space but there definitely is some trunk space. So you probably can't even fit a large suitcase in here. It's probably more like a duffel bag trunk. But yeah, for the car, I mean, I'm not, I'm not disappointed by that. And let's see how this car is. It's normally aspirated, so it should be super fun to drive. Um, does the engine hit you behind? Yep, so hit the, okay. put your foot on the brake and hit the start stop button just once. There you go, you don't have to hold oh, it down. Oh, I see. You don't have to hold it down. Okay. There we go. Make sure the mirrors are good. Cool. I'm just going to throw this back okay. for now. <laughs> Alright, so a couple things. There, There is some, you know, uh, speed limits. We want you to enjoy the car, but if you get a ticket, that's your ticket. So we don't mm -hmm. want that to happen. But by all means, enjoy the vehicle, all right? So just be wary of, uh, of it's actually public roads. Mm -hmm. This is the drive mode select. Uh-huh. Turn it to you, it's in comfort. Turn mm -hmm. it to you again, it's an eco. Ford is sport. Ford again is sport S plus. Okay. All right. Uh, if you feel good, comfortable with the mirrors and everything, just put it in drive and then you're all set. You can put it on the manual mode and then you can also use the paddle shifters and the manual mode is on the shift knob here. What do you drive now? Um, I drive my. Um Lamborghini Aventador. That's yours. SV Roadster, yeah. Oh, very nice. So you were used to the power there. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you know what to do. All right, jeez. Yes. Awesome. <laughs>
Okay. This one is about 500, right? Yeah, uh, almost 471. Okay. So you know what to do there. <laughs> yeah. So I can put it on sport. Sure. One more time. There's sport S and then sport, sport. S plus. Okay. Stiffens cool. up the suspension, the power steering, and then of course the fast acceleration. This cool. is a 10 speed rear wheel drive. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. If you feel good, just foot on the brake and then kind of click it to the left and down. Yep. And it'll say D right there. It'll show you if you're in drive. Alright, go. so we're going to go out and then we're going to make a left. So how long have you had the Lamborghini? Since May. Okay, congratulations. That's a <laughs> very you. nice ride. Looks okay on our my end. All right. So just be careful coming through here. Yeah, this is a 10 speed. It's pretty quick. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put the air on a little bit. All right. Cool. Turn the air down for me. So this is an electronic display. Yeah. So is Redline like fixed or does it like move as the car gets warmed up? No, it's 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 gonna move. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So it's all digital. Uh, you know, it's going to redline out at about 8,200, 8, I believe. Right, yeah, right now it's at 7,000, which yeah. is why I asked. Yeah, once it, and, and that, that entire tag changes over mm -hmm. um, when, uh, when you put it to like a normal mode or eco mode. In eco, it'll detune the throttle, so it'll save you gas. And, um, um, in the sport, it just, it's just instant. It's an instant response, uh, and you'll notice it. Interesting. Is, do you think this car is better in? It's better in manual, or do you like how the automatic is? Well, I like the manual just because you have to use the paddle shifters, uh -huh. and, and it and when you when you're in after second gear, it just kind of it rev matches to give you into the most optimal gear when you shift it, and you can uh -huh. hear it the yeah. sound. And when it shifts into the third, fourth, fifth gear, it it puts it in hard and you could feel it just just the force <laughs> of it and it feels amazing really yeah let's put it in manual then yeah, okay how do i do that again so you just click it over okay and now it's a manual okay all right cool. and you use the paddle shifters mm -hmm. uh, the right is up the left is down yep it's interesting that they're not fixed and they move with the wheel <laughs> like i've seen both ways yeah i have as well i have as well and some people like it some people don't we're gonna make a right right here okay yeah i'm gonna make a right right here Super smooth. That's the great thing about the Lexus is it offers, you know, kind of. It's like it's the umbrella of what it offers uh -huh. is a little bit of everything. So if you want a nice luxury cruiser, put it on the comfort mode. If you want to have a lot of fun with it, put it on the Sport S Plus. Uh -huh. And believe like me, it. it really it <laughs> takes off. So if you were to drop in second gear, so boom, it just rev matches it, and it. Yeah, it goes. <laughs> If you want to put a little bit of distance between yourself and the next key, you know, vehicle to kind of experience it, you can do that as well. Yeah, I do this all the time. <laughs> yeah, I bet, especially with a Lamborghini, I'm sure. <laughs> it's super nice! Super fast, yeah, super fast shift points. Again, 10, ten speed. We also have a, you know, it's a rear torque vector and differential where it supplies power left and right. So if you're going into the corner, it gives you more power on the outside to hug the corner. The handling response on this is phenomenal. Really? Yeah, I, 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 yeah it's, it's, it's top notch. Really? Now I want to try it. Yeah, it's, it's great. This starts out at 92 grand. So it's, it's, it's new, right? Like yeah, model? brand new. It just came out in April. This is a 2018. Um, it starts out at 92,000. There's four packages you can get on it. This has got the, the performance uh, sport package. and the touring package this has got the carbon fiber roofs and you can get this with a, a sunroof mm -hmm. but it's fixed oh I see so I'm sure they're probably going to do a few things since this is so brand new 
uh, you know, maybe tweaking a few things out. There is something called possibly the LCF, it's rumor. This the guy's been talking about it, they spotted something on the Nurburgring. That was the late, late departure warning, we're fine. It's, uh, are, you, are you just doing it gradually and then you can feel it kind of push back a little bit? No, when I depress it all the way. Oh. It's interesting. Maybe, maybe that was just what I, I was doing something. Oh, yeah. So this road kind of veers to the left, kind of curves. We're going to actually mm -hmm. stay to the right. Okay. Nice and easy. And it goes down and goes through a tunnel and loops back around. Okay. All right? Super easy to drive in manual, too. Yeah. That's the nice thing about it. Yeah. They also pipe in the exhaust notes into the cabin. It sounds pretty nice. Oh, I can actually hear it in this tunnel. Yeah, you can hear it. This is a yield, so just be careful. If you're good, go ahead. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing about this car, it's, it's absolutely effortless. Yeah, you know, it it's really so is. smooth. It's yeah. honestly one of the smoothest cars I've ever driven. Yeah, and the last guy I took, he, he, that was his thing. He, you know, he was driving the Porsche out all day. He actually even drove the McLaren, and he, he said it was a great car and everything, but in terms of what this offers, mm -hmm. the overall umbrella, the luxury combined with the performance, and you have the option to do either or at any given time. You know, it doesn't disappoint you, man. For 92,000 base. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> You're right, it does corner really well. Yeah, nice, yeah. It's a rear wheel drive system, man. I see. It really, that torque vectoring, it really keeps it in the lane. Uh huh. Um, it's in a 0 to 60 in 4.4. Yeah. Okay. If you really hit it hard, maybe 4.3, but. This is a naturally aspirated 5 liter V8. Oh, 470. So immediate in yeah, this car. It's, it's really, really quick. We do offer this in a hybrid, uh, but that's a 3.5 V6. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Nice, yeah. It's a great car. Just came out with this in April. Yeah, I've been seeing I've been seeing it like all over the place, like on car spotting groups. People yeah. are like, what is this car? Yeah. In fact, we had a lady walk up and she said, I saw that and I had no clue it was a Lexus. And, and she's like, I just it, want to figure out what you guys are, are doing. So right? she's probably coming back Saturday to test drive. <laughs> it looks like it like honestly it looks like a supercar yeah, too. Very futuristic. Yeah. The nice thing is when you're shifting it, the power band, you yeah. shift it and it shifts so fast, but it's shifting because it rev matches into the most optimal RPM. So when it hits it into the next gear, it keeps kind that's, of pulling. That's and awesome. It pulls, yeah. And at 10 speed, mm -hmm. I mean, you're, by the time you're in third gear, you're doing 100 miles an hour. Yeah. You know, it's just incredible. What is the optimal torque band for this car? Is it between three and six? <sighs> yeah, I, I want to say 48. Yeah. So why is this car, in your opinion, why do you think somebody should get this car? So it's about the same price range as a C63S, yep. M4. Yep. Coupes. M4, the two, yeah, the two-door coupe. I think, that's and I, I always tell maybe. them, yeah, that yeah. too. I mean, they're great cars. I, I always say that they're great cars because they do offer quite a bit. But I think for dollar for dollar, I think this offers a little bit of everything, and that that's what it is. Whereas maybe the uh, the M. So the M, great performance, but a stiff ride, you know? Whereas this is just, like I said, it, you could turn this into a Lexus luxury cruiser, mm -hmm. and then just click that button, and now you're in a, in a performance. Mm -hmm. And it's a five liter V8 naturally aspirated. I like I like the fact that it's naturally aspirated, and just the performance. Yeah. It's not obnoxious, it's not crazy where you have to really be careful with it. You can really, really work this car over, and it will respond. Mm -hmm. That's the nice thing about it. And you're not, yeah. and you're not really gonna break the bank, you know. I think for '92 starting, and then when you load it up, you're at, you know, roughly 102, 105 at the most. 
you know, and that's the most surprising thing. People are like for a hundred grand, I can get a car that really handles. <laughs> it's really it looks, like that it handles, too. Uh, really, I love how it looks from yeah. the outside. We got uh, eyes on designer world. When this concept came out five years ago, uh -huh. this was all glass. This A pillar frame, oh, this C pillar, really cool. it floated. This entire roof floated on glass. But and I imagine it gets really hot. Well, no, they said we couldn't build it. Like it's uh, not practical because yeah. of the safety wise. So we spent, but we got such a unanimous uh, approval. Like people wanted it. And they won best uh, concept, Eyes on Design Award best concept five years ago. And they told us that like we need to make it. So we spent five years building this to spec. This wow. is the closest resemblance to the concept that we've ever we've ever come come across. So it does, now, it seems to like something out of Very like futuristic. A poster, like yeah, very yeah. futuristic. And this is a it won best uh, Eyes on Design Award. It's a pretty prestigious award for mm -hmm. best production model wow. when it came out. So um, this is the the stiffest chassis we've ever built. Mm -hmm. This is on a brand new platform. So we literally started from the ground up. Brand new chassis, brand new engine, brand new transmission. Uh, this is the lowest center of gravity of any car we've ever created. And um, lowest center of gravity and. Um, it's, uh, like I said, it's the stiffest you know chassis we've, we made. So that platform, we're gonna actually transition all of our vehicles in the future on that platform. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And like very much like a sports car, it's really interesting that the thing, the display is very focused on RPM yeah. over over speed. Yeah. <laughs> like the speed is definitely a smaller number. It's really cool. Yeah, I mean, you seem very comfortable driving it. Um, <laughs> Stop it right here, and then put hit P for park. Cool. It's very. This is like the touch pad. Yup. So the touch pad. If you hit the menu button. Okay. So that this pad is. It's got a haptic feedback, so you can actually scroll around. Go ahead and try it out. Push down on it. Oh wow! It was really sensitive. It's super. Touch. And you can adjust the sensitivity. And this radio function, right? So um, that's the haptic feedback, of course. And this is the latest navigation system that we set up with. All the functions right here, radio, audio, climate, you can not only do it from here on the screen, but also the actual physical buttons mm -hmm. right here. We still have a CD player right here, some <laughs> disc, of course. And then this is the drive mode select, as you just noticed. That over there is a traction control, the other knob. Over here. Yep, oh, it's traction interesting, control the knobs snow are over here. Mode. We actually got that from the LFA, where we actually put it up there, so that's directly from the LFA. Interesting, very yeah. cool. And then everything else is pretty basic here, like mirror adjustments, seat settings. Yep. It's really interesting that it's push button park Yeah, electronic too. parking. Yep. Awesome. Keeping it very easy. Yeah. And then as far as all these functions, of course, you have, uh, there we go, you have <laughs> um, the tachometer, you can actually, you can scroll through and um, you could slide the tachometer Whoa. over. <laughs> that is from the LFA, yeah. That's awesome. Isn't that sweet? So you can scroll through, check lap time, oil pressure, that's direct from the LFA. And that was a cool. hand-built car that we made, you know, sold out in 2012. Very cool. Yeah. Cool, I really like, I really like the screen and the Yeah, this setup is here. extremely yeah. sleek. There's no other Su Lexus like this. Like you said, super futuristic. Yep. Like the whole thing is just uh, very futuristic. Cool. All right. All right. We're gonna let him back it in and then you guys take your cameras and then okay. enjoy, yeah. Great, thanks. Thank you. The LC500 is the new kid on the block. I'm telling you guys, it lives up to the hype. This is Lexus's, Lexus's new thing. And I wanna thank Lexus so much for letting me drive this out here. Really super cool car. Thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already subscribed, Please subscribe because there's so much more to come. Bye guys.